Welcome back to Peglin. Once again, there are a ton of new orbs and relics I've yet to encounter. Doing the round roll, and actually starting with a relic that gives me even more blind. So it'd be kind of fun to have this be a super build about debuffing enemies, but I mean, I'll take what I get. Anything new, really. I'm pretty sure, though, some of like, the new stuff does have a lot to do with de uh, debuffing enemies, so I'm very excited to see how that pans out. Also, I'm shocked I have yet to actually deal any bomb damage. One bomb. Okay, that didn't work. Fine, hit me. See if I care. Huh, the blind actually mattered. Funny. I definitely shouldn't have taken that damage in the first place. I deeply regret taking that damage. Oh, but the bramble. So good. It's cracked. Okay, now I'm back to farming coins. Shit. Can't even do that right. Well, I get to start with an excaberate to increase enemies' debuffs by one. It could be one of those builds. I have to choose between two shops and an elite. I'll definitely take the Excaberate though, upgrade it probably immediately. Get those debuffs going. I'll go left. Both way I still get an elite and a regular chest, but this way I get more question marks. Oh god, okay. Don't want stones. Nope, nope, nope. Let's not do that again. What do you got for me? Oh boy, the random stats. I don't know if I like this relic. It's probably good. It does make things a touch interesting. Man, I mean, for variety's sake, I guess the dungeon die is fine. It is a little weird when I have to shoot Excabber baits because, I mean, you gotta have the negative effects stack. Which, I guess, doesn't actually apply there, but it is interesting. It does feel like still it's an orb I have to throw. Just because it's a cool benefit. No, it hit the crit! I threw it so far to the left, I can't believe it bounced back. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, four? No, we'll take a 5 3 here. I cannot believe it did that to me. It was so far away, man. There's a crit right here. Probably worth it. Oh, okay. Awesome. Nah, I guess it'll make it interesting. I don't like these. Let's upgrade my scabber bit. Always good stats. It's the bull. It's good to start with a 6-4. Just too bad there's no negative stats for it to buff. Oh, sexy refresh, really. 2-2 two, two, or a 2-2. Two, two. The illusion of choice. Well, there's a lot of crits and refreshes down this way, although the crit doesn't really matter. I guess it's all about the refresh. Oh, he's held in place. That's so good. 3-0 or a 2-4? I think you go 3-0. Probably not or, uh, critting. Almost happened, though. 2-4 or a 4-4? Four, four. wonder if I could get away with both. Like, I start with a shot here, and that probably flies into the refresh. Or, oh, it almost flew into the crit. It was right there. I thought that was worth a shot. Now if I'm gonna suck up the refresh, I'll just let it happen now. All right, so I'm taking 22. <gasps> you missed! Oh, and a beautiful 0-10. Right, I'm just gonna ensure I hit this crit. Nice. Thanks for missing. Spin Infection. I think I gotta take it. Yeah, stack up the negative effects, bubble the cauldron, and a non-stat buff to boot. The Oboe. I love the Oboe. It's gonna go a long way. Oh, how I've missed you, Oboe. What's this? Duplicate all or random orb? I gotta go random. I hope I hit something good and not a stone. Hit a stone. Couldn't do all. I could not deal with four more stones. Inferno. No, I'll just dash it to flames. None of that. So I am broke. I'm trying to avoid the shops here. And full damage to enemies with resistances is a good one to have in the bag. We'll see. 5-6 or a 5-6. I guess they're both really good. Let's keep them. You. 2-1 or a 4-5. The choice is clear. Now, two bombs is all I needed. Got rid of everything annoying. Well, it's basically over now. I do plan to go right, so I'm just kind of trying to clear up the right side. Make it easier to get there post uh, or pre-navigation. Another cauldron bubble. I mean, I'm up against the mole, so having another one of these is really good. Yeah, I'll just take it, because who knows when's the next time I'm getting one. <sighs> okay. Zero, 4 or a 110. Now, this is strictly better, so it's strictly ass. At least I didn't hit that refresh. All right, not getting out of this one. Oh, and hitting a bomb. Excellent. 
All right, we get to start working on the big guy. Must I say, what a beautiful lineup this is right here. I get the Inspinfection, and then whatever debuff here, and then into Excabarate. Held him in place. Gorgeous. If I could hit that crit, I'd be a happy man. None of that, but at least he's blinded. 3-0 or 3-4. You take the 3-4. On refresh. Oh, what a snipe. What a lucky, lucky bounce. 1-2 or 0-3? Probably 1-2. Hedge my bets. Huh? I would have missed it absolutely in agonizing fashion, so. Oh, I could have shot that one. Well, I got a 4-6, so I'm rewarded for quickly skipping and not thinking about it. Not good. I'm not getting hit much. 2-0 or 3-4. You take the 3-4. Nice. So more Spinfectious. Oh, his name change. Spinfectious Sting. That's a good name. Honestly, of the Spinfection, it's kind of one of the weakest. So I'll just upgrade my Cauldron Bubbles. I'm a big fan of Spinfection 3 on all enemies. Oh, and this is more negative status effects. This is the ultimate negative status effects build. Perfect. I've been dying for this kind of synergy. 1-1 one, one or a 5-0. Oh. Just whatever you do, do not hit a crit. Oh, five! Wait, no. Never mind, he's dead to poison. That's fine. I love the oboe here. I love the cauldron bubble. It's just a shame that it's going to be dealing shit damage. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, they try to hit me. Let's go 3-2. One bomb and I'm in business. Okay, no bombs. All right, well, they can't hurt me for the entire rest of the fight. Thanks for playing, boys. All right, so this is not the synergy I want. I'm upgrading my cauldron bubbles. 4-4 four, four or a 1-3? Yeah, but if I shoot the 1-3, I get to shoot the cauldron bubble sooner, so I'll go for that. And I'll try to just leave room for the bombs. Or maybe bombs will just get everybody first. At least I killed an enemy. Oh, this is fine. That should provide for enough. Spinfection 2 gets the job done. Why don't you wait for the next cauldron bubble? There aren't enough enemies on the screen to take advantage of AoE. But now there are. Wait, you're not gonna die, are you? Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. And my build is just beautiful. All right, well, the Mole Man can't be blinded, but that's not going to be an issue. He's not dying to blindness. He's dying because of everything else. Just don't crit. Good. Damn, that's a good-ass poison stack. And a 710! He can be dead before he even hits me. Yep, he will be. A perfect, a flawless Mole Run. Can you do more blind? I could hoard more coins. Listen, you take this synergy you have, and I have all this synergy. I already went for hoarding coins in the past. I'm not doing that again. You know what? It's been a while. I think I could get away with the gift that keeps on giving here. If everything is just about spinfection and blind, the downsides of the gift are not that bad because I just deal damage through other means. So it does get a little tough here. This is not an easy gift map. Let's see, does it matter? Hope not. Oh yeah, the majority of my damage is gonna have to be Spinfection now. Oh, double Bramble. That's so good with Mask of Sorrow. All right, now I just gotta make it to the other AoE ASAP. All right, one enemy down. Come on, get me there. Oh fuck, this does like no damage. At least it does shoot. Oh, and that's held in place too. How dare you skip over the uh, Bramble. Just jumping over him. Like some hooligan. Not fine, you may come close. But you will miss. You didn't miss. Okay. You really didn't miss. However, even with this abysmal gift that keeps on giving us energy, I still came away with most of my HP. Alright, two elites to the right. Yeah, okay. And a shop. I'm gonna be getting good money at that shop. Okay, that took too long. All right, so this is something I'm supposed to be kind of afraid about. Get rid of the ranged enemy. Can I snipe the crits? I can! Beautiful. All right, off to a pretty good start. It's all about the cauldron bubble. 
Meh. Alright, what does it have? It's a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, good. This should do some mega damage. Phew! Barely enough to get him. That's actually a little nervous. Just a little. Come on, hit that crit. It's right there. So close. I was dreaming. 4-8 or a 2-3. Well, you shoot the 4-8. I hope it's not a 4. I guess it doesn't actually matter. 2-4 or an 0-5 with the crit right here. Perfect. It's the wall, so I don't have to care too much about HP. I could upgrade Darkness to Turball. There's only one shop coming up, so I suppose I'll do it. Blind 15 only. Although, I actually, with all the buffs, Blind 15 seems very, very good. Power Glove or Pierce when Crit? I think Power Glove is more reliably good. And I think I only have one crit anyway. Ooh, a start like this. Can't pass this one up. Yes. Okay, I guess everybody. Alright, now I can hoard for the shop. Just checking, yeah, unless I want to upgrade Dagorb, which is a possibility, I'm not going to go for it. This is the only fight I'm worried about. I do have a Cauldron Bubble ready to go. Its stats are pretty bad, though. I guess the, there is better than if I didn't have Dungeon Die. Oh, they get their attacks off first. 4-7 or a 4-6? Hmm... I wonder if there's any benefit to doing less damage. Wow, it just cradled itself there. Now, with the way this is going, definitely still want to go bubble. I should have checked its stats just to make sure it wasn't a total rip. Come on, get there, get there, get there. It should in a couple turns. Oh, it's just held there. Oh, that's awful. I wanted to blind the big dude. Well, all I can do is have sad, wasted damage. Damn, that would have been awesome to launch the big one. That's all right, Dagorb will do me a solid, right? Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, even better, okay. Now I don't mind him being held there, especially with a solid crit to follow up. Get him. Uh, so just this last guy, almost certainly not critting. Okay, good. All the elite fights taken care of. Nothing too scary. Don't want any of these. But refreshes are nice. Yep, two additional refreshes. Can't go wrong with it. Oh, two free stones from. Enjoy, buddy. Oh, that was much needed. I'm still definitely gonna... Wow, okay, those stones better than a Dagorb. I'm definitely still gonna remove in the upcoming shop, but now I feel less worried about it. Come on. Get a bomb. Damn. Wasted damage. I guess seeing this cauldron bubble, it was always going to be wasted damage. Because this was always going to wipe out everybody. I might try to save the uh, uh, cauldron bubble. Yeah, maybe I could wipe out this ranged enemy. <laughs> Alright, at least I got the refresh. Also, I applied three Spinfection. Mask of Sorrow made it become six Spinfection and not four. Feels like a bank error in my favor here, which, uh, thanks. But yeah, it does seem a little bugged. Unless if it's like counting each Spinfection individually. I mean, I mean, that's how it's calculated, but I doubt it's intended that way. Don't know if it would have made a difference. Toil and Trouble. This is nice. I like this Spinfection because it can target any enemy and still upgrades to six. I'll save the upgrade for after the shop. I could buy three relics and remove right now. So, I can have bombs activate nearby pegs. That's a good one. I'll definitely remove, thin out my stones. I could still buy two relics. I really want to. Let's go Unicorn Horn and Basic Blade. And I'll just stockpile money afterwards. Okay, awesome. Thanks for buffing my stones. Who knows? It might matter. Well, now I don't really care which way I go. Maybe I'll just try to get lucky and detonate some bombs. Yes! So, oh, thank you, Unicorn Horn. 
Additional refresh, well worth. Well, now that I get to say, there's three question marks all the way to the right. Oh, another crit. Nice. Oh, the double-double. If I could get that, please, yes. How about this? Come on. Ah, oh, I got a different spin faction. Damn. This isn't good enough for me, though. I think you have to understand. There's some spin factions I just skip. Oh, here? Maybe Excabarate. I'll take this one. This one's more fun, I think. The chip? Do I look like I want the chip? This isn't a chip kind of build. The damage output isn't the main appeal. Oh, I only have a level one Toil and Trouble. I kind of forgot about that. Huh. So theoretically, should do Spin Infection 4, but it didn't Spin Infection 3. But I'm immediately happy about taking Excabarate. Just being able to directly affect them seems pretty fun. Now, making them blind doesn't really help me. Oh, it's an 8-5 stone. That helps me. Wait, no, it doesn't. I'm just chucking it into a dude. I guess I could try to hit a refresh. Where? Where would I hit a refresh? You know what? No, I'm just sending it left. No. Oh, okay, got a refresh. Maybe another one? No, just the one. Yeah, that's all right. I'm here for the spin faction. See how much I could realistically stack on the wall. Eight stacks. Blind does not make a difference. No! Okay, it's not about the damage, it's about the spin faction. 13 stacks. Here we go. The bomb's hit nearby pegs. It should be extraordinary. It hasn't been yet. 16 of them. Alright, skip that. More, 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 more. It's a 511. Well, definitely not critting now. There's no way I'm getting enough stacks to get the achievement. I mean, I have it already, but I'm like, if I didn't have the achievement. Because I still think about how nuts uh, 50th Infection is. But maybe that changed. Uh, I guess I wouldn't know if it changed. I do know that it changed in the way that, like, they have it displayed publicly, so people don't have to, like, dig deep into it. Which is obviously a good change. But I wonder if they've actually changed the unlock itself. Don't know if we'll find out. Uh, it's basically a ceremonial at this point. I can grab the last couple bit of coins if I could help it. Thank you. 27 stacks of poison on Mr. Wall. It's a good time. I gotta upgrade my Toil and Trouble. That thing's slacking. Morbid with one less refresh. I don't really take Morbid often. When I have this many refreshes, I can afford to lose one. I'm up against the dragon. That's a good boss to actually have uh, Spinfection with. And I guess Spinfection's pretty good against mirrors, too. Even when the damage is ass. Oh, hit 134 pegs. Hot damn. Let's see if Dagor can just send it. Oh, it's close. Oh, that would have been dangerous. I'll save my money for the upcoming shop. But the way things are going, this is definitely a dragon waiting room. It's a strong build, but I think the dragon will still pose a significant challenge. 6-3 or 5-10. I think I'm just going for stats at this point. Yeah, dragon waiting room. 7-8 or 7-7. Seven, seven. Probably going to be 7 either way. Might as well take the extra spin faction. Though I doubt it'll matter. That's just one shot. As it does. A Bram Ball could be interesting, although impact, uh, not impactful against the dragon, right? I don't think it does anything. Let's just continue. Oh, the coins are on the right, but I gotta go left. Alright, what do we got here? Heal 2 every time the board is refreshed? That's pretty good. Oh, refresh and moving after every shot. Super nice. Against the dragon? Really helps me be, uh, not be stuck. Only had a little bit more to remove an orb. Okay, another thin on the stones makes up for it. Oh, the ethereal peglin. A free upgrade. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and this is where it starts to become pain. I almost didn't take Unicorn Horror for a second. You know how crazy that would have been? 
would have been absolutely nuts because it feels like that thing is just mega MVP. I've gotten so many nice shots out of that thing. That one, I guess I just prioritized the crit too much. Okay, that dealt Spinfection 6, so that became 7, and then I also applied a Spinfection from the Round Rolls effect, which got added 1 by 2 to give me 9 Spinfection. I actually think actually the previous time I questioned wasn't a bank error. It was just like, there was an additional poison, yeah, from the Round Rolls effect that I uh, failed to take into account. Well, that's nice. It's good to see my poison numbers could just be absurd from a single shot that isn't double-double. Alright, good. Get me out of here. I don't want any more of this. Do I need another cauldron bubble? I guess if I just pay for the orb, then I don't need to go to the shop. Against the dragon, I would want toil and trouble. And begin upgrading it, huh? Alright, what do I got here, huh? The toad! Oh, I always have the option to increase my max HP by four. I think they changed it so that now it would happen even if I do am not at max HP. Which is something I would use on an earlier floor, but not now. Wall bounces contributed to damage, cool. Do I want to get greedy? Let's try. Nice. Ah, sure, refresh the board on reload. I don't really reload, but maybe I will once. Actually, I'll probably reload a lot against the dragon boss. I don't want question mark navigation. I want these two elites I signed up for. Oh, this is a fantastic start. Okay. Lots to love here. No, oh, we went the wrong way. It's okay. They're all dead to poison. Ow. You two are dead to poison, big man. Damn, it keeps going to the right. How do I get you to stay left? Poison, 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 poison. Alright, kind of dying for a refresh here. Ask and I shall receive. So, okay. I didn't increase his, uh, <laughs> his must circle. Apparently, I don't know if this is actually true or just people misnoticed, but apparently I took a shot once and, uh, w with whatever orb that was I just shot and it increased his must circle. But it might have just been a coincidence, I don't know. Ah, max HP by four. Well, so I always want to upgrade. I may also want to heal as well. When else am I healing? Yeah, when am I healing? I probably need this against the dragon. Great, two coins whenever the board is refresh, or whenever I lose HP, deal two times that to all. I doubt the extra coins will make a difference. Well, maybe with the basalt totem, but it feels like a little too late for it. I'll just take the 200 up to 200 free damage. Kind of hurting. So I'm going to be launching a lot of healing. Oh, I have to be targeting that guy. Fine. Whatever you want. I'll just wipe out the back enemy in hopefully no time. Hopefully no time. It's a 6, 11. Beautiful. All right. So refreshes move every shot, which means I should be taking any obvious refreshes. It's not like I can save them for later. Alright, so the, the frickin' worm is gonna be the last thing kept alive. How sad. Yep, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, at least it's- that thing's dead to poison, I can focus on the worm now. Just don't crit. Uh, okay. I guess I wouldn't have minded extra, <laughs> coins now. Keep healing. Start out with the bubble. Whatever you do, don't crit. I don't know if I can control it on this map, though. There's so many pegs. Alright, I think I made it out alive. God, that's satisfying. 8-8 eight, eight or a 2-1? Huh. I think there's only one enemy left, so you take the 8-8. Eight, eight. Nice. Oh, this is new! Go for the ice circle. Regular attack pierces one enemy, critical hit pierces all enemies, or pierces first peg, applies blind four on hit. Sure. It's like Ice Circle, but then it also applies blind. Cool. I'm too broke to upgrade it. Damn, I should have taken the thing that would have given me more coins. This is interesting. I actually take pegs have a chance to refresh in the bombs. With bombs blowing up nearby stuff, I could get a lot of mileage out of that. 
I hope this is a fight so I can either upgrade or heal or do something. Forge. I could get an upgrade on either Ice Circle, Stone, or Dagor. I hope it's Ice Circle. Nope, it's Stone. I could do it again. I don't know if I want to do it again. You know what? Screw it. Okay, upgrade my Dagorb. I'm a little scalded. Give me the Ice Circle. I don't know if this is worth it. It's kind of funny, though. My stone has been upgraded. Damn it! The freaking last one! Alright, well, I finally got it. I'm a little bit more than a little scalded. I have to leave now. Was that worth it? No, absolutely not. But it was kind of funny. So it applies blind six on hit. Basically, I just want to blind the shit out of my enemy. Well, let's hope this works out. It's going to be a pretty tough one with the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, I have refreshes moved. Um, and I get bombs made sometimes. Alright, so I skip this because I'm going to start poisoning them. Whoop, there it goes. Damn, actually, that damage is still pretty nuts. So, I can bounce this straight up, straight down for a little bit until it gets zipped. Uh, he's setting up a big one. Maybe he'll miss. Maybe it won't hurt much. He didn't hurt much. I can deal with that. Okay. Ooh, boy. That's kind of scary. Not gonna lie. I think I need to blind him a lot more. Man, oh, I really should have gunned for the refresh. What the fuck was I thinking? I just didn't even notice it was there, pretty much. Good thing I have, um, Morb. Hey, good thing I have Morbid. Provides a little bit of damage. So, theoretically, this guy should just be whiffing, right? Okay, he does whiff. 117. Alright, I am not critting, unfortunately. Ton of bombs to the right. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Decent damage. I mean, Poison's doing the vast majority of it. I think I should go for Toil and Trouble here. Just more spin faction. Alright, so theoretically, it should be maximum blind. No more seeing. Maybe the Dragon, or the Fire Breath, though, doesn't really get affected by blind. Like, it doesn't matter. He spews fire. It's gonna hit something, right? So I should play it that way. This... This next shot, that misses. And that makes sense. Okay, I'm all about spin faction. And thankfully I'm getting a little bit of good damage here too. Uh-oh. I'm down to the poison, or not the poison, the fire pegs. It's gonna be a close one. Getting a lot of poison dealt to him. If I go this way, sometimes I crit for a lot of damage. Maybe? It could, ah, not gonna happen anymore. But it's still banger damage though. It's gonna be close. Okay, come on. Bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. Do me a good. Do me a solid, and it should be enough anyway. Yeah! <laughs> All right. The gamble paid off. Well, I'm glad I finally got the ultimate debuff synergy going. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next video. Have a wonderful day, and peace.